subscriber um, using these John Holland for you and I know we've talked about we're just going to pull one card to see what the outcome is I have shuffled them and um, I'm holding my phone actually while I'm doing this but I did just want you to see the reading because I think it's quite nice to be able to um, visualize it instead of just having me email it so I'm just randomly going through the deck just continuing a little bit of shuffling and then I'm going to pull the um, since we have just moved into April I will pull the fourth card down from the top of the deck and we will see what the card is and then we will interpret it so one two three oh yep three this is the card for you and I thought it was going to be what we call a major arcana and it's solitude so this one number nine would be the hermit interestingly enough so when we're dealing with the major arcanas it's about the universe is making the decisions as opposed to us so it's as if the certain planetary alignments or other factors beyond our control are coming into play within our lives. So solitude is often about going within to address the path that you're on in life, the things that you choose to do, your belief systems in particular. And if we zoom down a little bit closer, we see this lady in quiet repose and she is reading through a book possibly a book of um, ancient spiritual knowledge or um, some sort of divine learnings or lessons that are specific for her at this point in time and nine of course is the number of endings so endings of cycles Often this number will appear when we have reached the apex of something and we have turned a corner or we are about to and we are in the realm of contemplation of thinking are we on the right path, are we going in the right direction, is this the real me, is there something more I need to know about myself. It's questions like that that pop up when the energy of a nine come into play. So we can also look at this card too with the colours. There's a degree of blue in the card, but there's also this beautiful reddish tone and a sort of a um, purpley at the top of the sky. So we think of red possibly as being in the base chakra, which is the bottom of the spine, and it's attached to our material side of life. So often our finances, career, you know the earthly things that we have or journeys in the physical manifestation of life so that could be part of this whole the solitude connection even though the solitude and the hermit card define spirituality and enlightenment at that level we often find that the journey from the material through to spiritual is very connected anyhow so sometimes it's about joining the dots between each of those um, I always think of nine because it's an ending that whenever there is an ending there is always a new beginning so this of course is also about new beginnings coming in and indeed astrologically we are at a time of um, immense changes for so many people the planetary alignments are very difficult and they're full of uh, really old stuff that's being brought up to the surface and we're having to address it at deep inner personal levels which affects us both interpersonally and in the wider realm of our lives as well. So I quite like the card, I think it brings us back into our own space, our own thoughts and it's about moving forward, making changes, learning who we are, 
understanding that we come to crossroads in life and that we often gain more insight with more years behind us because of wisdom and the ability to listen and the knowledge that we have acquired along the way. So there you are, I hope you like that. that it's, it's, it's a lovely card, but I think it is one of, um, well, I don't mean isolation, but I do mean a, a little bit of being a, um, on your own and spending time in contemplation about yourself as opposed to group activities or social times. But um, a wise card, a wise card indeed. So wishing you the very best. Ka kitia noa, much aroha, namaste.